We are going to talk today about mood boards. It's supposed to be a board of inspiration. You see someone's clothing in a magazine and you like the patterning and you can say, oh, I want to take that patterning and put it on here. The colors that are on the underbelly of an insect. You can take from all these places and you can just build a huge library of inspiration for your work. Where do you start? Pinterest is one of my favorite tools. Everything on here has something that I either want to replicate in the design or something that I really appreciate and it has the right vibe. All mood boards have writing on them. Sometimes in case I forget what I put it on the board for. You also have mm -hmm. other people's character designs. I looked at my favorite games, movies, books, all those things, and I wrote down all the things that I liked about them. I just came up with a list and I put those all together and that helped give me a jump start on this project. First thing came from Lauren Hill. I used to uh, listen to her a lot, especially when I was a kid. Uh, when I was little, my mom would play it in the car. One of the first things I said was I want her to have a very specific hairstyle with really short uh, shoulder length dreadlocks. African patterning in this regal, ritzy type of style. So finding the merge between that and all the other things I wanted was actually very difficult. I don't have a board on Pinterest for each character. I'll just have a whole board of characters. I'll pull those into Photoshop and I'll create a layout like you see on the screen. Let's look at Aletha. She's one of my villains in this world. It started off with this woman on the top right, Shayna West, also known as the Samurai. She's using all these swords, knives and stuff, and she's doing all these you know, martial arts. I said, I need a character that looks like that with a big afro. I want to give her a really cool mask. In my world, you know, there's lots of glowing stuff. I decided to give her a mask that glows. My villains in my world have a little bit of an ancient vibe to them. I love the fact that you were looking at these African masks. African masks look kind of creepy sometimes. If I can make this mask you know, that clearly has an African aesthetic, but it looks really creepy. A lot of the other images that you have, they're pretty contemporary. If you only stick to contemporary images as resources, I do think that's a limitation. The mood board for this one is really different. I wanted to create a light temple, and I, and I was inspired by some games that I played back in the day. They were basically underground temples where you discover all these secrets. I wanted to have that feeling of something being ancient. How do you go figuring out how to deal with architecture? You have the whole world to inspire you. What elements from other projects do I really like? Weird little architecture shapes, maybe like a statue of a person. Maybe it's more like a shrine. 